Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Amma ba'da, habit a question was asked, I hope you're in the best of iman and health. I'm seeking your advice on a topic I've been thinking about a lot as of late. I'm 20 years old, I want to get married inshallah, but I also applied to uh, Islamic uh, Medina of Islamic University of Medina. And if I get accepted, I know they don't have housing for students with families anymore. So I don't exactly know what the cost of living is because I don't know anyone in Medina. The reason I am kind of in a rush is because I really like the sister and I know her because my relatives and my mother really likes her. I hear nothing but good about her and she's older than me by a year and I don't want her to get married to someone else while I wait. Nowadays, it's very hard to find a righteous wife, so I did not want her to want to let her go. Please advise me on this matter. I have been thinking about it a lot and have failed to find a solution uh, that I know works for a fact. I know Medina has a three-month break in the summer, so my plan was to come and work in America for the summer. But I don't know exactly how much would be enough to survive the whole year in Saudi Arabia. And and to the last part of the question. So, first and foremost, you know yourself best uh, with regards to uh, the issue of marriage and the urgency to get married. Uh, one thing to keep in mind, as you mentioned, you said the sister is a really good sister and that it's hard to find really good sisters. Uh, and And this is one that your family already likes and you like. And you hear nothing but good about her. So I would advise you in that sense, especially since you're not accepted into Medina, from what I understand. And perhaps you uh, you have applied, but you're not accepted. I would advise you to marry the sister uh, be, uh, that she, that I, I think this is the, the more appropriate thing to do if as you say, she is a good sister, which is like gold to hold on to, uh, and that your family is pleased with her. So you're pleased and your family is pleased, and you don't want to lose her by making her wait, and so on and so forth. So I would advise you, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best, to marry her and then seek for a means for her to if you get accepted for her to come to Medina and strive to uh, study. And so I, w I just want to mention that, again, this also depends upon your own uh, need for marriage. So if it is not a big priority for you right now, although you don't want to lose a sister, there is a great difficulty. You know that there's trials and tribulations with trying to sponsor her and bring her and have her have legal residency in Saudi Arabia. It's not easy. So that is no doubt something for you to consider. And uh, also being separate as newlyweds or even anytime you're separated from your family. From my experience, I do not advise that. And many brothers, they like to go overseas and they're separate from their families. But really, this is not good for the hearts, uh, especially when children are involved. And really, at any time, it, it is a great difficulty and a great sacrifice. So strive your utmost to be with your family where, wherever you travel to, regardless of you're trying to make hijrah or someone is trying to go seek ta uh, do talib al-ilm. I advise you as a base principle to keep your family with you and to strive your utmost to make that a priority because there are many difficulties that result by being separated. Uh, with that being said, many people have separated and they have uh, still been able to work things out. But again, it is a great difficulty upon the heart. So I think it's going to come down to, as far as your decision, looking at the path of Talib al-Ilm, if it means that much to you to, to go and have this opportunity, uh, then perhaps you may want to weigh that and delay marriage. But if you really fear you're going to lose this sister, this opportunity, and that is taking precedence over seeking the knowledge. So you're really 
you're going to either choose between the two or you're going to uh, go to Medina and then or, or marry her and go to Medina and then strive some way or somehow to try to bring her there. But uh, again, this is a difficult uh, thing and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you with tawfiq. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.